guys, today I am back with a new try on haul for you. The last time I did one of these was a few months ago and you guys seemed to really like it and asked me to do more of these types of hauls. So here I am back with a new one for you. These items are from Zaffle, which is a little notorious for being kind of hit and miss. But for me, I'm not the type of person to be really shocked if something doesn't turn out exactly as I expected because Honestly, I've been shopping on sites like this for many years, so I've gotten quite experienced at picking out items that I think are going to be successful and avoiding things that I think are going to be a little bit more risky. So hopefully this haul also maybe helps you guys out and gives you some insight into what kind of things are successful. But of course, I will be sure to share my honest opinion about any things that didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped but let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first up, I have a couple of skirts. The first one is this pale pink corduroy button-up skirt. It has a very slight A-line shape and these brass toned buttons down the front. As you guys can probably tell, pink is my favorite color, but I don't really have enough pink clothes for my liking. So that's what led me to pick out this skirt. The only thing is it's not quite as A-line shaped as I'd hoped. And in case you guys were curious about what size I picked out for these, I will also put sizing information in the info box below. And I picked out another button up skirt. This one is in a chocolatey brown color. I've been wanting to experiment with wearing more of these kind of 70s inspired colors lately. And once again, I do kind of wish it was a little bit more A-line, but I do think I can find some ways to style this. By the way, the fabric is a faux suede and this skirt also has a raw hem. It does work with this kind of skirt, but yeah, just something to keep in mind if you do plan on ordering. For tops, the only one I picked out is this t-shirt that I'm currently wearing. You guys might recognize it from my previous haul because I hauled it in black with a white stripe. It's basically a t-shirt, but with these really cute kind of ruffly sleeves. And I think the stripes add a sort of sporty contrast to the frilly girly look. Moving on to dresses, the first one I have is this plaid smock dress. And one thing I wanted to quickly mention, whenever I hold up dark items in front of my camera, unfortunately the like auto exposure is probably going to blow out completely because for some reason the manual setting on my camera was just not working today. I don't know what it was and I couldn't be bothered to try and figure it out. So yeah. Smock dresses are just so cute and comfy. They're one of those things that I've been wearing on and off for many years. This one is long sleeved with ruffles down the front. The fabric feels exactly like a flannel, which means that unfortunately it is way too hot to wear this kind of dress at the moment, but I can't wait to break this out when the weather cools down. So the next dress I have is this star print bell sleeved dress with kind of a lace front detail. I don't think I would wear this dress as it is with kind of the v-neck showing. I'm thinking I would layer it with like a little turtleneck underneath or something. And I love the look of the v-neck dress layered with a black turtleneck. I think it has a really 70s vibe. And I have another kind of 70s inspired dress. This is a black shift dress with kind of a rounded neck that comes into a slight point. And it has these really cute slightly ruffly bell sleeves. I'm not too sure about the neckline though, so I don't know. I may end up layering this one as well. Next, I have a couple of sweatshirts. The first one is this black sweatshirt with these embroidered rose patches. The reason I picked this out was because it has a really kind of vintage vibe to it. And I feel like I say that when I justify anything. I'm like, it has a vintage vibe to it. It reminds me of something from the 1950s, especially if it was worn with a pair of slim black pants. And I like how the sleeves go completely straight. That also kind of reminds me of a vintage 
stylistic feature. The next sweatshirt is this cropped hoodie and I've really been into wearing grey at the moment. The fabric feels kind of like scuba material, it has a little bit of a squishiness to it. In terms of the fit, the cropped length is perfect on me. The only problem with this sweatshirt though is that the cuffs are way too tight. They're basically cutting off my circulation, but that is a really easy fix. All I have to do is just remove the elastic on the inside and future Sophie popping in here. My friend was able to successfully remove the elastics completely. The only thing is the inside seams are kind of scratchy feeling, so I would need to layer this with a top underneath. I also picked out a couple of denim jackets. The first one is this black denim jacket with contrast stitching. You guys probably know how much I love contrast stitching detail. It has this raw cut off style hem and it has actual functioning pockets, which is always a plus for me, but they like just make it before the cutoff of like the jacket. If the cutoff part was any closer, these pockets would have been totally sliced into. And the next jacket is this oversized kind of bat wing style denim jacket. And same as with the previous jacket, I like to wear it with these sleeves cuffed. The only thing is, I'm not sure how I feel about like the distressing on it, but I am glad I picked this out because it still fits pretty well and I actually don't have any denim jackets in this kind of blue denim. Moving on to accessories. First, I have this choker. I actually just bought this for the rhinestone choker right here. I've been getting back into rhinestones and diamantes lately. They kind of remind me of the early 2000s, but I also think this could be styled in a very vintage way, of course. And I also picked out this cream lace choker, which comes with this little gold heart-shaped necklace to layer with. I actually only bought it for the heart-shaped necklace. And to finish off the haul, I have two pairs of sunglasses, the first of which you guys have seen before. They are just a very subtle cat eye shape. And I also picked out these sunglasses. These ones are completely black though, and they have some subtle detailing just on the edges of the lenses and the frames. That's about it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, this is kind of unrelated, but at the beginning of this year, I restocked my wardrobe shop, which is my shop where I sell new, used, and vintage items from my wardrobe. I always put a link to that in the info box below, and I will also put the URL right here in text form. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you all in my next one.